All right, so today I want to talk about Deep Woken Starter Islands. So you have the Etria and the Isle of Vigils or Vigils, whatever you want to call it. I want to compare those two islands and see which one is better. And obviously this is a personal opinion. So I'm just going to get straight to it. I really think that if you're like a beginner, beginner, like you just got the game and you don't know how to combat and you just don't have an idea for this game whatsoever, then I really do recommend the isle of vigils simply because of that trainer function that you have in the temple in a lot of starter guides you're gonna see a lot of people spawning in etria and people recommending etria and while that is not a bad tip, if you don't know anything about this game at all, then I really do recommend Isle of Vigils because you're not going to be able to beat NPCs if you are terrible at combat by yourself at least. Basically, what the trainer does is you get in a spar with him and you're able to fight with him for how many times you want. And this is basically going to give you XP and this is also going to give you like a feel of the combat. And you best believe that the more times you fight the instructor and get better you're gonna have easier times with the npcs and also to mention that you're probably gonna get wiped at your first character because i've never seen anyone progress that much in their first time playing so if you're gonna get wiped at some point anyway then you might as well just spawn in at islands of vigils and get some training experience in so you can get better at the game but the downside of isle of vigils is the lack of notes and why notes are important in the beginner stages is because notes can afford you the training equipments that you need in the island of vigils i was only able to buy one training equipment from the starting npc i myself actually wanted to get better at this game so i also spawned in at island of vigils and i can say that my skills have i mean increased drastically but i'm still kind of in the average i'm not nowhere insane and i also want to show you a screenshot of my stats when i was in power six so how my stats turned out like this is because i only had two training equipments but at the same time i had a great source of xp which is the trainer that i'm able to fight again and again and i also forgot to mention that the trainer is a great source of xp maybe not as much as bandits but there's still something especially with the no risk of getting wiped so i would totally recommend island of vigils just for like a fresh fresh starter like someone who hasn't played deep Oaken at all and they don't know what the game is about then i really recommend the island of vigils etria on the other hand is just more of a better island i have to say the only reason why island of vigils was worth even mentioning was just solely because of the trainer function that they have in etria you can talk to someone and then get a gold ring which is worth about 25 notes and then you can get another 25 notes from the beginner npc that you talk to so in total you will have 50 notes and you start off with a training equipment just to mention assuming that you invested all your notes into training equipment you would have three training equipments to deal with and also i feel like in etria there's like a lot more stuff there i don't know if that's just me but it just feels like there's just so much more stuff in etria and the reason why it might feel that way is because they're all in like one place while in island of vigils you have to like go here you have to go there you have to go everywhere like you have to explore the whole map just to find like the mantra shop or whatever you want and i feel like you can get better and faster progression in etria rather than the islands of vigils so if you're already good at the game and you have experience with deep woken then you should probably stick with etria i mean it's just that simple so overall in conclusion i strongly believe that islands of vigils is the place to go if you are a fresh fresh beginner like have no prior experience at all with the combat and combat is pretty important in this game because the NPCs are quite smart. I mean, they're not that smart. I mean, some NPCs are pretty easy if you know the pattern. But Island of Vigils is still a great way to get some experience with the game. But if you already have some prior experience with Deep Woken, then just go Etria. I mean, just Etria is just so much of a better island than Island of Vigils. I only recommended Island of Vigils because of the trainer, and the trainer is a great way for beginners to understand the combat. But other than that, if you already know the combat, there's no point of spawning in Island of Vigils. So I strongly recommend Etria if you already know the game 
and you know how to play it. Please subscribe if you liked this video because I'll be doing a lot more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.